Welcome back. The man who brought us decentralized crowdfunding now wants to bring us a whole new decentralized data transfer and storage network that can scale. Slava Rubin, founder of Indiegogo, is joining the founding team of crypto startup Nillion as their chief business officer, announced right here on the show. Here to discuss is Slava Rubin himself. Welcome, Slava. So this is a, a bit of news. So how long have you been interested in crypto and of all the projects to join out there why this one yeah i mean uh for me crypto goes back to probably 2015 16 and then when i was getting involved with indiegogo to do one of the first uh decentralized tokens for a security token for the saint regis um hotel in aspen colorado but uh you know specifically for this it's just a very exciting announcement to be able to get involved with Nillion. Since I started Indiegogo, as you mentioned, I've met with tens of thousands of teams and always looking for the it factor, the combination of people, purpose, and technology. Been lucky enough to invest in some of them that have now been uh, unicorns and now focus my energy as a venture capitalist. And when I came across the folks with Nillion and we were just incubating the idea, I just felt compelled to get involved in a deeper way because they definitely have the it factor. Uh, the people are absolutely incredible, from the founding engineer of Uber uh, to the founding uh, folks from Hedera to the associate general counsel from Coinbase, and the list goes on. The purpose is great to be able to securely allow for storage and processing of data in an absolute private way. And I, I want to live in a world that allows for that sort of privacy and use of data. And finally, the technology is just such a generational leap on what is happening out there for secure multi-party computation that being able to advance that uh, a thousand times faster is just absolutely incredible. So, Slava, what makes this decentralized data transfer and storage system different from what's already out there in Web3, like Filecoin, for instance? Yeah, so there's definitely a, a movement of looking for more privacy, uh, more secure data, and a lot of it has to do with the storage and the advancement uh, with Nillion is really being able to process that data in such a secure and private way. There's various different organizations trying to tackle this problem uh, with their own versions. And there's a lot of pros and cons to all those versions. But we feel very excited about the mathematical innovations and what we're doing, which is, you know, instead of uh, having the bog down abilities of secure multi-party computation where the nodes all need to speak to each other. You know, our mathematicians that have dozens of patents and our technologists have figured out a very elegant way to use two algorithms to be able to speak to each other to make it that much faster. And we call that nil message compute, NMC. And that lack of speaking to each other just speeds up the processing so much and allows you for you to store and process that data privately, securely, and very rapidly. So, Slava, it's been a long time since we last talked, uh, and, and I remember you were you were definitely you were knee deep in the crypto for many years, as, as I remember. Uh, so, a couple of questions. I first of all, you know. Uh, you know why? Why are you still working? I mean, Indiegogo did did tremendous. Uh, you know, tr is tremendously successful. And then second of all, uh, along those lines, you know, we're seeing uh, Facebook, uh, excuse me, Meta now in the metaverse in Web three, uh, going in a big way, and Wall Street's been punishing them. Uh, you're somebody who knows a lot. Obviously, you've seen it a million times uh, on Indiegogo. How? people fundraise, what's successful, what isn't. If you're to pitch right now what you're doing with millions, so how would you say it's differentiated from, let's say, what the likes of Facebook uh, is doing uh, at the moment, which the market seems to not want? So how are you, fun you know, what are you saying is the value add there with Nillion? So many questions there. Um, so, you know, so the first yeah. The first one is, uh, you know, I love doing things that haven't been done before. And I like being able to hang out with incredible entrepreneurs to advance forward the world. So whether that is uh, building Indiegogo myself uh, and the team there, uh, whether it is, you know, investing out of the fund, which is ambition into great entrepreneurs that are, you know, improving the world. 
And, and here there's million. Again, it's on, on the cutting edge of where things are headed. So I just compelled uh, to, to get involved. But really, it resonated with me on a personal level, right? So my dad died of cancer when I was a kid. Uh, and that was part of the reason why I started Indiegogo to figure out, is there a way to, you know, crowdfund for that? And similarly, one of the challenges to finding solutions for cancer is doing all the research and being able to get all the information and data and processing and running the AI, AI ML models to be able to figure all that out. And when I was talking with the, my fellow founders here now at Nillion about what is possible about getting all this data and not having to worry about the security or privacy of that data, we can really advance forward you know, things like that cancer research. And I was just compelled uh, to move forward. You know, it also can be more basic things like being able to do public authentication. Um, so you don't have to worry about where your private keys are. Or you can be, like I mentioned, advancing, you know, different apps as related to AI and ML. So when I think about that, you know, I'm trying to go where the puck is headed. And I feel like the narrative is about being able to have more secure and private data do I think that is this where everybody is headed? Absolutely. Um, this reminds me right now of the bear market of you know, the 2000, 2001 drop or the 2008 drop. There's a lot of folks trying to figure out how to navigate forward, how they can stay relevant and how they can stay innovative. And the team here at Nillion is just so special. Uh, it's one of the greatest teams I've ever met. And I just feel like when you have that entrepreneurial hustle, it, it's hard to be compared to some you know, larger conglomerate. Can you also talk about some of the immediate use cases of Nillion? Maybe illustrate that out for us, and which you've done a good job of so far. Yeah, I mean, it could be as basic as all of us, hopefully, you know, invest a little bit already in crypto. And we probably don't know where our private keys are or we're nervous they're going to get burnt because it's on paper or we're just worried that we're going to lose our ledger, et cetera. And this allows for you not to be limited by you know, which cell phone your information is on, where is it stored, et cetera. You're not limited to a centralized location. This is decentralized storage and computation. So being able to not worry about where your private keys are or where your NFTs are and being able to access them on the cloud very easily and securely, I think is a very simple but great use case. Or, for example, you know, we keep on living in a world with more data where we need more um AI and ML sophistication, but that's a balancing act. You know, do the folks with the data want to share their data? Do they want people to see it? You know, how, how about on the other side, the folks that are running the algorithms and trying to train their models using the data, do they want to have any exposure as to how that's working? So being able to have that computation where neither party actually knows exactly what's happening is really valuable. Or like I mentioned, to me, the ultimate use case is advancement on medical research, uh, and being able to then impact the real world with those findings. All right, Sava, really interesting stuff. Great new project. Can't wait to see where it goes. Thanks for joining us. That was Nillian Chief Business Officer Slava Rubin, also founder of Indiegogo.